everybody, it's Dr. Joe and the pups, and today we're going to show you the top five stretches and exercises for carpal tunnel syndrome. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. The first stretches are just more of a warm up. So just make a fist with both hands. Most of the time it's usually in both hands. If it's not, it's still pretty good to do both. And once you make a fist, you can keep your elbows bent. If you want to put them straight out, you can, but this is more of a warm up. So I usually keep them bent and just bend them down as far as you comfortably can and then up as far as you comfortably can. So almost like you're revving a motorcycle up, but just a kind of a continuous stretch back and forth. So this is a little bit more just getting it as a warm up instead of a full stretch, but you'll feel that stretch in there. So I would say um, maybe 10 each way, but just going up and down, just kind of getting those wrists moving a little bit, especially if you've got that carpal tunnel syndrome in there where that, that numbness is coming down into your hands and you feel it um, in your fingers and in your hands, that's a good way to kind of warm it up. And then you're gonna turn your hands up this way where your thumbs are on top, and then you're gonna go into radial and ulnar deviation. So just up and down. So same thing, this is really just to kind of get that wrist loosened up. It's kind of a continuous motion going up and down. You don't have to go super fast. You don't have to go super slow, just kind of a continuous motion just to get everything nice and loosened up in there. And again, that, you know, that carpal tunnel's right here. So that median nerve that comes down through there is the one that usually gets compressed and giving that nerve pain. So if you're having nerve pain up here and even up into your neck, that's not carpal tunnel syndrome. That's something coming from your neck or your shoulder if it's higher up. Sometimes it radiates a little bit this way, but it's not gonna radiate all the way up into your shoulder if it's just carpal tunnel syndrome. So then the next ones are going into a full stretch. So this is gonna be for your wrist flexors and your wrist extensors. So the first one, um, this time you're gonna put your arms straight out. You can do kind of a modified version and then you can do it um, a little bit more. So you're gonna kind of come up into a stop sign position like this. This is the bigger stretch here. If you don't want quite as much of a stretch, you can start off with your fist straight out. But if you want a little bit more of a stretch under here for those wrist flexors, then put your hands up into that stop sign position. If you need even more of a stretch, you can put a little bit of overpressure with the other hand and alternate back and forth, or you can go up against a wall and put a stretch in there. But this one's a full stretch, so you wanna hold that stretch for 30 seconds, and you wanna do that three times. What I like to do is alternate um, back and forth between your wrist flexors and your wrist extensors. So instead of doing all three at one time, now you're gonna come down, but it's gonna change. So if your fingers are straight out, you're just gonna have a little bit of a stretch on those extensors up there. But if you want more of a stretch, curl them in and you'll really feel that stretch through there. And then if you still need more of a stretch, you can either push on each side or take your hands and kind of push them up against the wall and just get some more pressure in there. So again, 30 seconds, three this way. So if you just alternate back and forth, it'd be a total of six times three each way for that 30 seconds. So that really gets it nice and loosened up. Then the next one is gonna be a prayer stretch. That really stretches into that carpal tunnel area. So what I like to do is put my palms together to start off with, with my elbows kind of close together. And then keeping your palms together, bring your elbows out and your hands down. So it kind of looks like you're going into a prayer, but you really wanna push those elbows out and you're gonna get a really, really good stretch in there. Now this going all the way down, if you have carpal tunnel syndrome, might be just a little bit too much. So bring it up a little bit if you need to, that stretching, you want it to be tension, you wanna be that good hurt, um, hurt so good feeling, but you don't want it just to be pain, pain. You might get some of that numbness, tingly feeling in your fingers when you're doing this because you're putting that compression on that nerve. So as long as if you let it up, it goes away, that's fine. But if you're stretching and you feel it and you let it up and it's still getting that numbness and tingling, you might be too, doing a little bit too much. But this is another one where you're holding it for that 30 seconds and then you're doing that three times. So really just getting that good stretch. If you need to take a break in between and shake them out. And again, if it's a little numb, but then it kind of goes away if you move it a little bit, that's fine. But if it stays numb, 
that's when you probably really need to check in with a doctor or a physical therapist because it might be something else. It might be coming from your neck, your shoulder, your elbow, or your wrist. So that's why it's really important to find out exactly what's causing it first. So the next one is going to be for your pecs to stretch out those because even though this is the carpal tunnel syndrome, that whole chain goes all the way down. So sometimes those tight pec muscles in there do cause that numbness and tingling. So if you're not quite 100% sure, doing a pec stretch is really good stretching out that chest area. And an easy one to do while you're sitting down is just take your hands and clasp them behind you. And so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna push down and out and then just push your chest forward as you stretch. And you should really feel that stretch right through there. So again, if you feel a little bit of numbness and tingling while you're doing it, it's okay as long as once you let go that numbness and tingling goes away. But if it continues after you hold that stretch, don't keep doing it because that might be something else going on that you really need to get checked out. So pushing down and out and then pushing your chest out and forward. And again, holding that for 30 seconds, doing that three times. So then another good one to stretch is your anterior scalene muscles in the front. And again, if these are tight, a lot of times it will pull up in this area and put pressure on the nerves going out this way. So sometimes it's like a thoracic outlet syndrome, pushing on the brachial plexus, something like that, where you're having that numbness and tingling in your hands that you might think is carpal tunnel syndrome, but it might not be. So another great stretch to do is to stretch out those anterior scalene muscles. So what I like to do is just kind of place my hand on my collarbone here that just helps kind of hold it down to get a little stretch and turn your head the opposite way so if I'm stretching this side and then bring that ear up towards the ceiling so I'm stretching right through that area right there and I get a nice good stretch I feel it again it should be super comfortable not painful holding that for 30 seconds and then I would actually do each side even if again you're only really feeling it on one side i'd stretch out both sides just to get everything nice and loosened up so again 30 seconds three times on each side holding the collarbone or that clavicle turning away and then looking up pointing that ear towards the ceiling so there you have it. Those were your top five stretches and exercises for carpal tunnel syndrome. If you'd like to help support my channel, find out how by clicking up here. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking down here. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.